my vision for those who don't know me, I hope that they've heard enough to reassure them that this seat that I'm occupying now is for every airman in this wing. Some of the things that I had that helped me is that I've been here. I've seen, I've experienced, I hear. My standard, as I stated, hasn't changed no matter wherever the wing placed me. I've been the same. So my leadership, I plan to be the same as the command chief, but hopefully better. And I want to create an environment that is inclusive to all, to where it's an empowerment piece, to where everyone feel like they got a shot to be the wing command chief. That everybody feel like they got a shot to be the chief of their section. That everyone feel like they could be the superintendent of their shop. Like that's the message that I want to put out that what we have here is good for everybody. I expect us all to be transparent, be fair, to be open, to be willing to change. You know, what we've done last year probably won't work this year. And we have to be open to know that change is good and whatever comes our way, we need to be prepared. This whole piece is about us moving forward together and as a team, and I want to be the mouthpiece for our commanders to make sure that our enlisted core understands our new role and our new mission. With Accelerate Change or Lose, we keep bragging about how great we are, and we've shown it in every fight, but the fight that we're fighting now and that's coming is different. The enemy is different. The adversaries have different plans. They're smarter. So therefore, we have to change the way we operate, change the way we train, change the way we communicate, and change the way that we communicate to a point of people just not hearing us but understanding why we're doing what we're doing. Really build these high-performing teams that we keep talking about that's going to help us accelerate, change, or lose. So we got to really go back to the drawing board of doing things a little different, building teams that with people that don't always have the same skill set or the same mindset, bringing that diversity piece in to where everyone has something to bring to the table. And we're gonna be open for our airmen. We're gonna get out, we're gonna see the airmen. We're gonna visit them. They're gonna be able to visit us. We want them to know that we are truly here for them and that I am the voice for them. I want that to be noted. I am all in for our enlisted personnel here.